I'm not drinking. I'm sober right now. I'm sober curious. And I'm California sobs. <laughs> <laughs> I hate that. Yay Networks. Hey guys, episode 37. We're snowed in. We got two feet of snow here in Denver. It's cold. I got my cozy. Um, these are my Lily, Lily Plitzer. Oh, they look like that. <laughs> I know. I love, a lot of people don't know what Lily Plitzer is, but I love the colors. Yeah, so if you're just listening, it's just like Easter colors that throw up on a pair of slippers. <laughs> I bonded with one of Layton's teachers last year because she's from Kentucky and she's got this accent and she's the only person I know in Colorado that I've ever seen wear Lily Plitzer. And she, I was like, is that a Lily shirt? And she goes, oh, I love it. And she always finds um, discounted shirts on Facebook Marketplace. So she would always tell me places where to find cheap Lily because it is expensive. I always buy, if I do get it, it's always on sale. And she always wore cowboy boots and Lily Plitzer. It just made me laugh. Yeah, you taught me that because it's a Southern thing, yeah. right? Yeah, I didn't know what Lily Plitzer was. And now I see it and I'm like, oh, is that Lily Plitzer? Mm -hmm. Yeah, it's nice. But um, yeah, so we've been snowed in. The boys got a early spring break surprise. So spring break is all next week for us. And the kids got two extra days and they are just loving it. The kids are all outside sledding. I haven't even been outside. I don't, it's too cold for me. Yeah, it would have been nice if you were outside because I had a shovel twice yesterday. Yeah. And my back is broken. It would have been nice if you could fold laundry and put up your laundry. <laughs> if you want to start that. Oh, you want to get after it? <laughs> Our dishwasher, I actually took a picture the other day because I always complain. I was like, you know, you could unload the dishwasher for once. And you say, I do it all I the time. I do it all the time. And I took a picture. I opened up the dishwasher and it was full of dishes. And I just, I just started laughing. And I was like, I'm going to make, um, I'm going to make did something it. on When Instagram. you were taking your little afternoon nap yesterday wait i have to explain i took my afternoon nap because okay i started that trizepatide it makes me so tired like a pregnancy tired and i told jeff i was like i'm going upstairs to lay down for a second because i felt like i couldn't keep my eyes open and i did the dishwasher by the way oh i'm one time okay since we're getting into it i was actually <laughs> going to bring this up you keep moving those blue scissors to the other drawer yeah you no, do you do it on purpose latent. The one to, it's to the right. Aren't they always on the right? No, they're on the left. And you you switch them on purpose. I no, know you I do. No, I don't. I know you do. No, I don't. Then later I just used them. it right now, and you and it was in the other drawer. And it's happened, like, every day. And I'm like, she's doing that on purpose, like, with the dirty wash thing, where you make my clothes stink in the dryer. <laughs> Okay, but so are you moving the scissors? Cop to it. No, I, no, it probably, seriously, Leighton always gets in there and gets the scissors. And, and he puts then, them in the other drawer? No, he, I probably put them just in the right drawer, not thinking that that's I'm going to get go. a security camera and watch, because oh, it drives me crazy. you a security camera. I would do a, so much on you. <laughs> what are you talking about? And record you, oh my gosh, just to prove a point, like with the dishes. Oh, with the dishes? Yeah, with the di there's a lot of other things. I have a list, but we're not getting... It's Friday. We're not getting into I it. I have a list, too. You do? Yeah. What? Uh, you want to just start bickering, and then we'll get into the episode and get <laughs> some things off our chest? Oh, what do you? What else do you got? S speaking of you just looking at your phone, because I know someone's coming, someone's coming to uh, pick, pick up, up Layton. a friend of ours, yes. And uh, we could hear it. It's a friend of ours. People are like, your kid's just... No, I told around. her, I was like, my yeah. door's unlocked. I got everything at the front door. Just grab him. Because Lawson went with his friends and Leighton was just sitting here. So she was nice enough. She took Leighton. Um, hang on. Let's, instead of the bickering, can we just No, talk? one more. I'm going to do one more because oh, uh, on your phone. Okay. When you show, like, because you're on your phone all the time and yeah. all you do is watch Instagram videos. Then from across the room, you're like, check this out with your iPhone 8. And you're like, look, and I can't see. And you're like, you're deaf. You're blind. You can't see anything. And then you yell at me all the time. And I'm just trying to enjoy another 48 hours episode. I will call Jeff's name over the balcony. And I'm like, Jeff, Jeff. And you're like right there in the living room. And you just, I'm like, is he doing this on purpose? <laughs> That's what I think. And then it makes me even more mad. And then I walk halfway down the steps, Jeff. And then it's, what? 
what? And then you get like get all mad because I interrupted you while you're watching your show. You pick the exact time, like when the show comes back on or I'm watching one of my favorite shows and you're like, so what do you think about bowling this weekend? I'm like, what are you talking about? What? Yeah, you just say random stuff. Yeah. Because, and I'm trying to watch my show. Because he doesn't want to talk. Only when you have a couple drinks, then you want to sit down and you really want to talk. Like last night, Jeffy yeah, had a couple drinks, and I'm not drinking. I'm sober right now. I'm sober curious. And I'm California sobs. <laughs> <laughs> I hate that. And then he's like all chatty, and I'm like, oh, now he wants to chat. So what's wrong with that? Well, you should want to chat all the time. We always chat it up. Sometimes. Our anniversary's tomorrow, by the way. Yeah, we're filming this on Friday. St. Patrick's Day is on Saturday, right? In St. Patrick's Day today, because ours is the 16th, I thought, or is it a day after? Well, I it's it this Saturday. weekend, yeah, whatever, yeah, yeah. people are going to be doing stuff this weekend, like the younger kids. I bought a corned beef. Oh, you did? I did, from Costco. Y'all. I love corned beef. Do you want to share that story real quick before we uh, switch? Oh, with the down? <laughs> yeah. <laughs> yeah. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Do you want to yeah. share that yeah. real quick? Okay, do you, do you want to tell it since it was your co-worker? Yeah, you could tell it. So Jen Wiederstrom, I don't know, uh, she used to work on Daily Blast Live. Some, she actually was one of the coaches on The Biggest Loser. Mm -hmm. She was one of the trainers. Uh, the sweetest. She's such a sweet girl. She's no longer with Daily Blast Live. But one year, your dad was in town. Uh -huh. <laughs> and I think we just got to Denver, not too long, maybe a year or two in. And we had, we didn't even have Layton yet, right? I don't think it was we, just Lawson. Lawson yeah. was just oh, a baby. Oh, I was pregnant with Layton. Yeah, you were pregnant. I was pregnant and so we just had So you weren't even Lawson. drinking anyway. Yeah. So we're still trying to hang on to our 20s in some sort of way. And Jen's like, hey, we're downtown at this bar. We got a little corner for the, you know, for uh, Lawson. And we got this little area uh, picked out. And I was like, oh, great. We'll meet you down there. You know, I have big sexy in town. So we'll we'll go downtown, not knowing what downtown Denver was like on St. Patrick's and Day. And Sam, who works with Jeff, oh, that's right. yeah. had uh, her daughters around the same age as Lawson. And she's like, oh, we'll come too. And we're like, are you sure it's age appropriate, like for kids and for us to come down there? Yes. <laughs> it's the look. corner. It's all blocked off. It's, it's all just blocked us. off. And I'm like, all right, let's go. Okay, so tell. we get downtown and it's what you would think on St. Patrick's <laughs> Day downtown. People are hanging, literally hanging, hanging out of the windows, like fist pumping and all that. I was like, whoa, this Some is Some guy was nutty. passed out on the ground. Another person was just wobbling, all walking around downtown, just drunk people everywhere. I have um, a diaper bag, a stroller. My dad's like, do you want me to carry the diaper bag? I'm pulling Lawson. There's drunk people everywhere. We totally stood out. Oh my God. So yeah, I mean, we did not I need to be there. Chicago threw down for St. Patrick's Day. Denver apparently, well, who doesn't like to just drink and make bad decisions? But we're down, we're right in front of a bar. I'm like, is this the bar? I'm like, Jen, are you in this bar? And she's like, yeah, come up. I'm like, we'll get like child services on us if we go inside this bar. And we ended up not going in. Yeah, because my dad, <laughs> my I was dude. like, okay, I have this stroller. One, where are we going to fold up the stroller and put it? Yeah. They probably would put some drunk person in it and stroll the drunk person <laughs> around Which would have been great. It would have been hilarious, but I mean, I would have want my stroller back. But, um... I was like, I can't be holding Lawson and pregnant standing no. here. Yeah, yeah. So I go, um, I think we're just going to continue going like down the street, like getting further away. So we end up at another place that was further away. I think away I called Jen. I'm like, are you crazy? Yeah, like, you did. You She's like, what? I thought it was appropriate. <laughs> and she doesn't have kids, not married, anything like that. And um, uh, what happened? Oh, we end up at another place. And, Jen, and then Sam comes and meets us, and it's Sam, her daughter, Sophie, her husband, Mark, and Sam didn't have her son then, and uh, we're all hanging around there. And then I remember these ladies were kind of saying things about me and Sam, like kind of getting rude, and the boy, Lawson- We went to a really low-key spot after that. It was, was like outside. Super low-key, yeah, outside yeah. patio, because I go, just find a patio. We can get tucked away in a corner. We got our toys and everything, but apparently these ladies- didn't like that Whatever. and and we stayed there for a little bit and then me and my dad walked somewhere else and took Lawson and I just like I left you I was like I'm I'm out of here yeah. and I was pregnant and moody and very like get me out of here I'm around a bunch of drunk people I'm pregnant with like 
I don't even know how old Lawson was. Almost, he was a, probably had to be almost two. Oh yeah, because they're two years yeah. apart. So yeah, somewhere and, around. Um, so he was little still. Yeah, he was, he was little. little. Yeah, that was, I think that was the last time we went out for St. Patrick's. Yeah, Day. that's <laughs> that was five something years ago. funny. We always um, we always talk about. Yeah, because it was. I'm like, wait, a it was wild down there. It was My wild. dad used to go every year to Savannah, Georgia, because they do it big in Savannah. And um, do the water green. They do I think that they in Chicago do that in too. Chicago too. But I think everywhere used to. Like when I was 21, oh my God, thank God there were no like cameras like there are now. When I was 21 with my yeah. friends, they had a St. Patty's Day bar crawl that started at like 10 a.m. And we would go down there and just start drinking. And by like four o'clock, we were, yeah, embarrassing. Yeah, I know. I mean, I did the same thing. Yeah. But could you imagine doing that now? No, God, no. Starting at. <laughs> God, it no. sounds like a nightmare where I'm getting so old. You know what I mean? I'm like the things. No, that me, used if to I do. started early, it would be like, okay, let's have a couple drinks, start in by two and then take a little nap. <laughs> yeah, but St. Patrick's Day isn't like casual drinking. It's like get after it from jump street. Oh yeah. And, but when you're 21, I mean, when you think about that stuff, it's like, oh man, it was fun because you had no responsibilities. You just could, you know, oh, once yeah. you have kids, you realize, wow. I the was, south side of Chicago gets bananas because a lot of Irish down there in the south side, mm -hmm. and it gets crazy. I mean, like, serious drinking. What's the biggest place? Is there – is Chicago the biggest place for St. Patty's Day, or is there some Maybe other Boston, place? Boston, I would think, right? Oh, Boston. Okay. Right? It's There are a lot of yeah. Irish in Boston. I don't know. I don't know. I don't know what the – I feel like everybody does it. Yeah, everybody goes nutty. Yeah. All right, well, we'll take a little break and then come back. Together Mess is sponsored by BetterHelp. What's the right amount of socializing for you? For me, I feel like since I have come off my antidepressants, I'm not as social. I am more, I, I kind of consider myself a loner. I like, I enjoy being by myself. I enjoy, I don't like shopping with people. I enjoy, it's almost like therapy for me really when I'm walking through a grocery store when I'm going through Target when I'm by myself and my I can think it's quiet I like not having the kids with me I enjoy it but therapy can give you self-awareness to build a social life and that's something I should work on yeah and that's why it's always good to talk to somebody and that's where better help comes in if you're thinking of starting therapy give better help a try. It's entirely online, designed to be convenient, flexible, and suitable for your schedule. All you have to do is just fill out a brief questionnaire to get matched with a licensed therapist, and you can switch therapists anytime for no additional charge. I love the part that you could switch your therapist for free, because that's really important. To oh. get the person that matches with you. Yes. I feel like I would switch a bunch <laughs> hey, <that's laughs> until I found for. the right That's person. exactly why they offer that because that's what it's for. You, I think it's very important just as much as therapy to have the right person that connects with you. And I think that's so important to find a therapist that you feel that comfortable with, like you're just having a conversation with your friend. That's exactly right. Because the more comfortable you are, the more you're going to open up to your therapist. Find your social sweet spot with BetterHelp. I like that. Visit BetterHelp.com slash Together Mess. That's M-E-S-S -S today to get 10% off your first month. That's BetterHelp, H-E-L-P dot com slash Together Mess, M-E-S-S. Okay, guys, welcome back. Um, I was going to talk about, since we were talking about drinking and people getting drunk. What about speaking of Chicago? Oh, I, I'm still going to do that later. <laughs> All right. Okay. We had a little transition. Yeah, All right, you want to start we, over or you want to keep it in there? No, I'm going to keep it All in right, there. All right, just keep it in <laughs> Keep it in here. This is, yeah, not edit it. But um, talking about people getting drunk and wandering off, did you hear about the kid in Nashville? Who wandered off? Well, he was with his fraternity brothers. It's wander off. What do you mean wander off? Huh? Wander. Oh, wander off. So this kid was with 50 <laughs> of his fraternity. I'm going to start over. No, leave it. No, We're I'm starting. We're it all in there. Why? Because it's good. It's good stuff. All right, tell us. Hold on. Nona Sylvia's shout out. If you're ever in Park Ridge, that was supposed to be the transition when we came back. I'm wearing a Nona Sylvia shirt. My buddy Steve owns the restaurant, my good friend. It's on Canfield and Telcott if you guys are in Chicago, so check it out. That's how I wanted to start the second half. But, hey, what are you going to do? 
Okay. Well. All right. So now tell me this kid who uh, wandered off. Okay. So this kid in Nashville was with his fraternity brothers on vacation. The, or it, spring probably break. spring break. Yeah. And there were fifty of them there. Fifty of his fraternity brothers. They were staying at a hotel. They were at Luke Bryan's bar. And he got kicked out of Luke Bryan's bar. Okay. And there's surveillance video of him. People are starting to send in videos of him, like, stumbling around downtown by himself. And my thing was, where were, there were 50 fraternity brothers there. Where are your friends? You were wandering around town all by yourself. And it just reminds me of, like, what we were just talking about, St. Patty's Day. There were probably times I was wandering off downtown Charlotte by myself. Wander. Wander. Wander off by myself and the same thing the same thing happened this was around the time i was 21 um a college kid walked into uh it was called buckhead saloon at that time this is in charlotte same thing happened walked in uh left and they never saw him again so they they haven't found this kid they haven't found this kid so nobody knows. And like people now are sending in things like, oh, I think I saw a homeless person wearing his shirt. Um, and But I was talking to one of my friends today and I was like, oh, that's so sad. Like, where were his friends? And she said, one of his buddies said he was closing out the tab and he just like left. But you know, we've all been there when oh, we've been I used young to love that. where you just take off. Speaking of St. Patty's Day, I think it's called an Irish goodbye. Yeah. Yeah, and you just kind of disappear. I would do that all the time because I'm like, I, I had enough. I'm out. I know, but his mom, I'm surprised you guys didn't talk about it on Daily Blast Live. I never even heard about it. No, this, it like just happened Friday. It happened Friday. So a week, La- we're a filming week, this yeah, on Friday, so a week, a week from, ago. And his mom oh, wow. has been on the news like crying and talking about it, but they've been searching uh, the water over there, because the river area by the bridge, because they think he could possibly have yeah. fell in, which I hope they find him. I There's, hope he's just, I mean, I don't know, a week, but I hope, I really do, because like I put myself as his mom in that situation. I would never, I couldn't sleep. I would have to go down and move to Nashville because yeah. I would not be able to sleep until I found my son. Well, I can't, I don't. Have you tried to follow up on that? Because I'm surprised they haven't found any details or it's not national news by this point. I, th- I know people disappear. I feel disappear, like it's but... starting to become, I know Luke Bryan just put like a statement out. Wouldn't you think that there's cameras everywhere? There's cameras everywhere now. So especially downtown Nashville. Yeah. You think there's cameras you could track when he left and, and cause I watch a lot of like murder mystery shows and they, now there's cameras everywhere. Yeah. I guess it depends what city you're in. Well, uh, from what I saw, it was like two they showed him leaving and just and then there's another camera showing him just walking around he ran into a pole oh, he, he was hit his hammered. head yeah he ran into a pole and fell down and hit his head and then gets back up and starts stumbling on so oh, wow so i wonder if there was like foul play or if he might have like fell in the river drunk I or know. something you know what i mean i don't i don't know i hope not i hope they find him but it just like makes me nervous because I don't know, all these young kids out, spring break, you think nothing's going to happen to you. I'm that person that was that way but a long time ago. I feel like when I uh, was drinking and if I was out with people, I'm always the more protective one. Like I always, if I feel like, oh, I'm starting to feel like I'm like really getting a buzz, I kind of take a step back and will stop because I'm like have to be aware of like my surroundings. Oh, I do now for sure. Yeah. I don't get drunk like out. But I would rather take a step back and let my friends have more fun and let them get, you know, really drunk. And then, like, I just, like, watch over them and just, like, make sure they're good. Yeah. Because, you know, you always have the one friend that always goes overboard (laughs) when you go out. Oh, for sure. Listen, the the tiger gets out of the cage every once in a while. You can't control it. But I, I am aware just because, you know, I'm on a show and things like that. I'm not anybody that anybody cares about. But, you know, if I'm doing something silly or I'm obnoxiously drunk... That could affect my job, you know? Oh, so I'm sure. super aware, even of like talking, because I'm a loud talker, you know, and I drink, I get even louder. And I'm like, whoa, those people are like totally listening, you know, to mm-hmm. what I'm saying. So, and people love to be like those gotcha moments. Like, look at that guy from, the, oh, you like know? little snips. Yeah, so yeah, yeah. Like it's a taken out of context. I'm very, I'm super high aware of, of like my surroundings when I'm out, like in that, you know, I know. setting. It's just, I think it shows like you're getting older because you're, 
just are thinking about it more. And, and more. I just don't want to be an embarrassing person either. <laughs> Not because I'm yeah. on TV. Yeah. Well, I think too, you see the, uh, like the viral video of the girl, uh, the woman that was on the plane that told the guy he wasn't a real person and she got off the plane. Oh, they, oh, that's, I know exactly what you're talking about. But I don't about. know if she was drunk. She looked like she might've had a few drinks, but I don't know if it was drunk medicine. I don't know. They never came out with like what exactly yeah, happened. Yeah, she did a follow-up interview with oh, somebody. she did? Yeah, she did. Oh man, I wish I knew what Because I saw them interview her. She's a pretty woman. And she was like, I can't talk about it. My lawyer yeah. said, I can't talk about it. But That was the follow-up. I would be mortified if I got if like caught on camera and somebody filmed me being like, you're not real. <laughs> I get, so my Instagram like algorithm has like Karens on it because they make me laugh and like how crazy and insane some people are like with their cameras and they're like, you can't park here. I'm calling the police. Like they're just insane. It just makes me laugh. I'm like, oh my God, the world has gone bananas. Well, I think it's, I always try to think about this way. Is either always was bananas and we just see it more because everybody's got a phone with a camera and it's posted oh, everywhere right. now yeah. and you're seeing more of everywhere. So either every, it, that's a good point. Yeah. Maybe I the world was always crazy. We just have more exposure. Yeah. To it now. But I think the more exposure doesn't help because then people just, or expo I don't know if that's the right word, but you know keep, what I mean? Um, fighting. Yeah. There's this one, <laughs> I don't know. There's this lady who gets in the back of an Uber and she's, she, something's she's mentally insane did you ever see that and she's like she pretends no she has she's Tourette's? talking no i don't know is she, that what you're talking about no no she doesn't have Tourette. she's like she's just looking for a fight she's like are you arguing with me sir and he's like no no ma'am and he's like she's like the seatbelt's too tight and she just starts like freaking out on like every little thing and i'm like oh my god and the uber driver's so calm like he answered goes she goes because i will write you one star i've done it before oh and then gosh. she like calms down and she's like I can't breathe in here. It's like she's just screaming like crazy things. And the Uber driver's being so calm. I'd be like, B time for you to go. I'd pull over. Well, there are people like that, though, out there that just are miserable. Oh, that yeah, want yeah. to That want to fight with you. That want to pick fights. I know. And it. I well, know. speaking of all that. Well, before I end this subject, I hope they find uh, that boy. I, I want to say he's alive. Well, now I'm curious. I want to figure out what's I know. Happening. I've been following it because I just, it just like, I don't know. It bothers me because he's a young college kid out having fun. And then I saw his mom's video and him crying. I was Ugh. like, oh, I hate that. That breaks my heart. Uh, but anyways, I hope his family um, finds him or, or gets some type of closure. Um but then, speaking of all these things going on, then Kate Middleton. Now I'm going down a rabbit hole with Kate Middleton. Oh. I almost text Stephanie, who works with Jeff, who's from England, to be like, what's going on? Like, what what is happening over there? I love a good conspiracy theory. I'm one of the, I, you know, some of them are real crazy, but I do like, I like jumping on board of a good conspiracy. But what is, people are, she had abdominal surgery. So people are saying that's fake. So that did she have surgery? I, I don't know. Nobody knows. She hasn't been seen. Then there's a picture of her, and people are saying the picture's doctored or something. I don't know all the details to all this, but I think it's all to cover up um, uh, William, right? William and Megan? Yeah. That he's having an affair with some other woman. Oh, <gasps> no. Yeah. Yeah, and it's been going on for a while. No, really? Yeah. Because we did it, the You're story the on our show. How do you have an affair and expect not to get caught if you are having an affair? I hope he's not having an affair because I won't like it. I him. think every prince in that family has had an affair. My mom knows nothing about the royals, but she gets so mad about the dad. What he? What is the dad's wife's name um, who he's with now? Cam Charles? Kamala. Is it Kamala? Cam Camilla? Um. Yeah, whoever he... Kamala Harris? No. <laughs> no. He cheated on Princess Diana. My mom loved right. Princess Diana. Right, right. And she's like, he is a dirtback what he did Dude, to Diana. My mom does not like him that at That broke the world's heart. Not just England, But my the mom world. knows nothing about England. People love Princess Diana. And I was like so young, crazy. I didn't know. And I remember being... 
I want to say I was like 10. I was young and it being all over the news. And I remember my mom and dad like standing by the TV watching it. And I was like, mom, who is that? And my mom was like explaining to me who she was. And she was just, she thought she was so classy and just such a good like mom. And then she always, still to this day, my mom's in her 60s and she's like, I can't believe what he did to her. Like, does not like him. I guess he's not doing so hot. What's wrong with him? He's, I think he's got some, I don't know, uh, I might be misspeaking, but I think he has cancer too. Oh. Maybe like a brain tumor or something. I don't know. Don't yeah, quote don't me on that. I don't want to put know. out misinformation. But I guess he's not doing so hot. And they're kind of downplaying it. I was watching some media outlet that said they're downplaying actually how sick he is. Oh. And he's only been king for like a year and he's been waiting, you know, his whole life. And his parents live to be the grandma, didn't she? The queen. Yeah. She just Elizabeth, passed away right. like a year or two ago. Yeah, right. And so a year, like that's when 90s. he took wow. over. So I don't know. He's been waiting for a while. Well, the memes, <laughs> so, I saw some memes. I'm not even going to repeat because I don't want to get bashed, but people saying how his Karma. new wife won't get won't get queen or something because if something happened, I don't know, whatever. I'm not going to We don't know say. what the hell we're talking yeah, about. Yeah, we don't really know, but all I know is everybody loved Princess Diana and nobody liked him. And now, I, w- I didn't know that about cheating rumors. The, again, this is all She's legend. So we don't pretty. know what we're talking about. So but classy. she was like groomed to marry him. You know that, right? Like she mean? was brought up her whole life, you know, kind of like coming to America. You ever see Coming to no. America? Mm-hmm. You What? I know what, what the movie doing? is. That I just movie's... never watched it. And like, <laughs> oh, well, I have so many jokes and I can't tell them now because you're not going to get any. Bark like a dog. No, I've never seen <laughs> it. A big dog. Never seen See, it. See, somebody at home will appreciate that. But uh, yeah, she's gr- she was like raised to marry a prince. Like that's how she was raised. Why? That's, I don't know. Is that's that what everybody they do in there. England? I, really? Well, I is don't it, know. It's like Cinderella. Almost. We're totally talking out of our royal assholes right yeah, now. Yeah, we need Stephanie here. Yeah, but I think Kate Middleton was. I don't know how they pick what family gets to marry who. I don't know what the hell. And I, again, I might be, I don't know what I'm talking about. But she was definitely allegedly Well, raised. that's a shame if he is cheating. If, the, if that is the true story. I hope not. How hot is it? royal sex oh what that's so you're like random. cheating like oh my god you're not just cheating you're like breaking up a royal family you know what i'm saying well it's like some hardcore after what cheating. happened with Meghan markle and all that stuff that came out i'm like wow so it just um, proves everybody's dysfunctional every family's well, dysfunctional including the well the royal family has been what dysfunctional I'm for centuries but they, so now People are saying that all the Harry and Meghan stuff was a cover-up, so Kate and William, that rumor wouldn't get out. You know, now the conspiracies are going all over the place. But isn't, in England, aren't they a little crazy with their paparazzi? And because that's what happened with, why Diana died, because they were chasing her? Yeah. You know, I was, uh, I went, when I was in Paris, when I I went to Europe, uh, in my twenties and she died not too long before I was there. And there was like a memorial. Wow. I think she died somewhere in Paris. I'm pretty sure. And, uh, in like some tunnel. That's yeah. where she, so I was there wherever I forgot where it was, but there was a memorial. And I took like all these pictures and stuff cause she mm-hmm. died. That's so pretty, sad. Yeah. Yeah. All right. Well, that, okay. We just were a downer. We were a downer. And by the way, I forgot to mention John unknown to Sylvia's Johnny, Johnny Jean and he's my friend too. I just mentioned Steve like a jerk. Before we end this, though, we'll end it on a high note. How excited were you to see, since we're talking about pop culture, talking about things going on in the world? And oh, think- my God. We got to take a break because I'm too excited. Okay. So excited. That's a we'll good We'll talk one. about that That's next. So okay. we'll end. This, we kind of were a downer on this segment. We'll end on and if you, a In case you thought note. I was being sarcastic, I was not. I'm very excited. Okay. Welcome back. Jeff's dreams are true. Uh, he wanted to be in a boy band. He's always wanted to be in a boy band. In sync. In sync's your favorite one, right? LFO is my favorite boy band. Did you know two of those guys are past? Yeah, I know. That's yeah, of cancer. Yeah. Mm-hmm. Two and there's only three. But yeah, LFO is my all time favorite. Okay. Then who's next? In sync. In sync's yeah. my number two. And they, then who's your third? 
the back streets. Okay, mine in sync was number one. And then I love 98 degrees. And then um, back street was number three. And remember when I was in school, I couldn't wait to get home to watch TRL. And there. Wow, remember how bananas that stuff the they shut down stuff, Times Square? Yes, yeah. would be blocked off. And I couldn't wait because they'd be like the new premiere of uh, their. Uh, what is it like making the video remember they used to do that behind yeah. the scenes and then they would show it and then they were premiere it and it was such a big deal and I loved Britney Spears Jessica yeah, Simpson yeah. Christina Aguilera same thing whenever they and you know they always wore the belly tops and had like the belly rings I always thought it was so cool because I was like 13 <laughs> yeah I, I mean who didn't want to be that. them you know I know they got made fun of a lot though you know like Ooh. people would just be like oh boy bands you know that's Listen, so, um, New Kids on the Block is still going. They had a bunch of hits. They're like Chinese 50. food makes me sick. <laughs> such a dork. Um, that was a lyric from LFO, by the way. They, they're they like in their 50s, and they're still going. They are looking a little. A little bit. A little a long little, in the tooth. Yeah, a little bit. Not in sync. But in sync looks really good. Let's look Let's great. get focused. Okay, let's okay? go. Let's get focused. Okay. I'm so excited. Me too. Does this mean they're going on it's tour? It's definitely a, a sign. sign. Because they can't just hop up on stage. I'm sure they could. But that means there's like rehearsals and stuff going on. You know? And I'm so happy for Lance. Like getting the band back together. I'm so happy for all of them. Well, everybody's been wanting this for so long. And I think the best thing is... Remember before all the boy bands, it was, I think, 98 Degrees, Backstreet Boys, everybody went on tour, and everybody's like, why is NSYNC not going on tour? I think the best thing is that they held out as long as they did, because so many people have been wanting this. But I don't think they held out on purpose. I think Justin, again, he here, was we're popular just gonna, and working. I, thought he, I think he thought in his head he was too good for that, It just in my mind, and he's not so liked, like, because I think there's rumors that he cheated on Jessica Biel and there's other things. So he's not the most liked guy. People are still mad at him from the Janet Jackson thing. Cause that came and back up. Yeah. And the, Oh yeah. The Britney, Britney book. Came out that's with right. Her. Totally. Yeah. That's, that's what sparked it all. So I think Justin needs this. And I guess, you know, everybody benefits as far as the group goes. Cause if they tour, I mean, I'm going. They're selling out arenas for oh, sure. Oh yeah. We're buying tickets. Oh my God. We're doing, I'm going to make a phone call. <laughs> I'm making a phone call, man. You're gonna make a phone call? Yeah, or you are. You should probably make the phone no. call. No. What are oh, you talking that about? Were you guys. You were just at Lance's house. Um. Yes, but I didn't get it. Lance didn't give me any info. I didn't get any info. We just interviewed him, and I was like, "Hey, Lance, how are the kids?" And he's like, "Oh, they're great and stuff." I'm like, "All right, enough with the pleasantries. Are you is Instinct going back on tour?" And he started laughing. He's like, "Right to it, huh, Jeff?" Well, hopefully they, um, hopefully they come to Denver. Hopefully they make a spot in Denver. Oh, they have to. Yeah, if not, we're traveling. We're going. Oh, um, the L.A. show. No, Denver. You said or, we're oh, out, out of oh yeah yeah yeah. If it if it's that, then yes. Because I'll definitely LA. have an LA oh, show. Wait, I have to share this. So we are um, we're going to a wedding in May. Let me see if I can find it's it. It's gonna be May. <laughs> 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 have you ever looked at? Y'all are gonna be like, you guys are crazy. Have you ever looked? I booked it. Okay, and all the breakdown of the charges that you get for the hotel dude i don't the, like this is the things that get me, so like, i can't my blood boiling resort fees resort processing fee, fees 30 dollars resort fee tax four dollars there's a california tourism tax that we had to pay then a california tourism fee that was on top of that such bullshit city tax and um occupancy tax and that again like when i got the price for our hotel which you get a discount because you're booking through you know the wedding yeah i was like why do you break don't this show down? me that i, was I don't want to see that say that i don't want to see that you should just what is a california tourism tax california tourism fee that we had to pay added to the hotel i think that is crazy you should put a cleaning fee because guess what i'm gonna do to those pillows once i'm in there and then this is another thing that aggravates me you check in at the hotel you're paying for that day and you can't check in till four o'clock so really you didn't get the whole day 
Well, they got, got to clean. Four I, I o'clock. Understand. No, that it could have not been occupied, but you're paying to check in at four o'clock. I don't Dude, know. Those are the things that boil my blood. Like all the upgrade, and I hate getting nickel and dimed. It's like my number one pet peeve is getting nickel and dimed. And Joe Biden, I don't want to get into like. Uh, po politics here but one of his things he said he was going to do and I, I think any president should do this not just joe he said he was going to get rid of junk fees and oh, he's like running this? on some of that yeah for airlines for uh hotels for all that junk fee crap he said he's going to get rid of that and i don't understand why more people don't run on that i think he'll get votes just because of that again i don't want to go political but i like that he said that because I'm so tired of the junk fees or $5 of this or upgrade this or this. Just tell me the price. Just tell me. I don't want to see processing fees and all these bullshit that you know nobody's doing. Processing fee? What is that? Yeah. Nobody even knows what that means. Yeah. You run a credit card and now it's, if you buy tickets to a concert, you get two tickets for $200 each. Processing fees, another $200. So you're paying $600 for $400 tickets because of some made up processing fee. Just tell me the tickets are $300, not $200. I think it's concert tickets are out of control. But it's all this I don't know. I get I'm so I hate it. But I don't it just that's I feel like takes away the when I was a kid, you were a kid like growing up the simple things. Like it doesn't matter where you stay anymore if you're at fancy or if you're not at the nicest hotel. It's still there's going to be all these extra charges. And it's like people who are working their butts off and have families and want to take their kids on vacation, it's hard for them to take their kids on vacation because these hotels the the price of them and then um um airline we're going to Mexico, and it costs more money to fly our family of four to Mexico than it was to stay there for four nights. Yeah, luckily a friend hooked us up with, you know. No, they all we got hooked up with, they just took away the extra charges, the right. cleaning fees and uh, processing fees. They took away those fees, and we just paid for our room for the four nights. Yeah, that should be illegal. Be it should be illegal. You're stealing. It's stealing. But somebody out there is making more money. Everybody's I'm telling you, you guys, if I get a beach house, like I keep saying, I'm putting it out there, we're manifesting it. If I get my beach house, I'm going to rent it out to all my followers and I'm going to give everybody a discount and I'm not going to have all these stupid fees. I'm going to give it to people who have been like loyal followers and who are awesome people. And I'm going to be like, here, you want to take your family on a vacation? Stay at my beach house and I'm not going to charge you these crazy fees. You still got to charge them. You <laughs> <laughs> Let's not get crazy. <laughs> No, because it's just, I feel like every, it's just. We're it's, not going to have any breakdowns of processing fees. You're just going to get. No, I would give everybody a discount. And like, same thing, like with my friends, I would do uh, same thing just to, because it's ridiculous. Like people just can't take their kids on vacations anymore because it's just something so simple is $5,000. It's But it, it is out of control. I mean, it's out of control. Just ticket prices like, you know, you want to take your family to go see a, 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 a sporting event, let alone the Super Bowl. No, who $500. Could ever do that? Yeah, you just go to buy tickets. It's $500. Then you get a piece of crap dinosaur uh, snow cone, and that's $25. And you're like, what? And then I get a beer. That's another $20. You're charging me $20 for a beer? It's like, who? how do people do things? But that's I don't why understand. people don't. That's why a lot of people don't do anything. Like at restaurants, if we go to a restaurant in the summertime and you and I have drinks, not, um, we're like with our kids, not a lot of drinks, like a, a couple <laughs> drinks. And yeah, um, okay. you just have to say that because somebody's going to be like, oh, you have a couple drinks. We're doing bongs. You have appetizer. Beer bongs. And um, food with our kids and everything. It's always 150 to like $180. That's, I mean, I kind of expect that going out, like to a restaurant. Yeah, but I feel like people right? don't do that because people aren't going to restaurants as much. People aren't going to concerts as much. That's because the concert thing and the sporting up. thing. Of it course, you have to like save all year. I mean, just think about the prices. Like we just said $500 for the tickets for four of us. So that's cheap, to be honest with you. Then all, you know, the snacks and drinks and things like that. And then if you're out of town or something, then you're staying a night in a hotel just to see like a concert or sporting event. It's like on the average salary that we're making, inflation is way is so far higher than the average salary or like how do people even own a home 
these days. I know. I was talking about it with a friend I went to high school today who is a single mom. I was talking to her today about I'm saying that. not people how they own a home. I'm saying like out of college, you know, and yeah, you want to exactly. get your life started when you're 25. Because that's why they say There's no way. kids that are 26 years old are still living with their parents. And if my kids went to college and were done with college, I would tell them, hey, live with us, start saving your money. Because then you until start you can your life something. off in debt. Yeah. If you're paying for your own college, you're already in debt. Then the price of a home, you're never doing that, right? right. Out of college, there's no way. Especially the jobs col- aren't paying. But that's why people are moving towards, moving to places, Tennessee, North Carolina, South Carolina, Texas, uh, Florida, because- Oh, no state tax, you mean? There's state taxes in North Carolina. No oh, state taxes Florida in and Florida Texas. and um, Does Tennessee. Does Texas have state tax? I, I'm not going to speak for Texas because I don't know. I don't know Tennessee. Dang, that was a- well, I don't know. Object. <laughs> no, I don't know in um, Texas, but it's, it really is like, I wish something would change and it would get back to just like simple things, like where people could just get in their car and drive and not have to stress about, wow, okay, well, we're going to do this vacation. And then as soon as you get home from vacation, then your water heater breaks or something breaks in your house. And then you have to pay for that. It's like, get back to like where everybody who has kids can enjoy things. You know? Yeah. We were just talking about that actually today. Uh, and it's like, careers are like no people don't have careers for like i've been here for 40 years you know what i mean uh i get a pension now from this company and there's pride in their work and they're proud that they work there you know like my grandmother worked for pepsi and she always was like so happy you know, company picnics and all that stuff you know she got a pension from pepsi all of her friends you know she i remember that as a little kid even like a profession, like a plumber anymore. Like those, some of these professions, I don't know. It's just like, there's no pride anymore in what anybody does. My mom is retired. I keep saying this. My mom's retiring um, this month. She's been at the bank 30 years and they told her, they said, we don't have budget to throw you a retirement party or take you out to eat. And she worked for the That's bank That's what for I mean. It's like disrespectful even on the company like, side. I mean, my mom doesn't care, but she's like, don't even worry about it. Cause my mom doesn't like attention on her anyways. But still in my head, I'm like they couldn't even like give you guys a hundred dollars just to go out and yeah. get like coffees or something or just something small it doesn't have and to it's be also crazy. the business's fault you know big business they're so greedy there's no personal relationship with that company anymore they just like you know all that's gone all that stuff's gone because oh we're not going to do a, uh, a party for jackie that's going to cut our profits for two hundred dollars we know that it's everyone's cutting corners to save money so you could pay your stockholders x amount of money and it's like everything's just about profit there's no like r- loyalty anymore pride anymore and things like that and no. we're missing that in america i i agree i totally agree we got with deep that. we got deep yeah right we there. did we got more serious Dang, today. Really? <laughs> I think I, I've been in the house for two days, snow day, and I'm watching the news and TV. And that's, I got nothing going on this week because with the kids, normally when I think of things to talk about, it's things that have happened to me or I've seen things like been out, it's things I've talked about with my friends and I jot it down of what I want to talk about, but we've been snowed in. So I've been watching the news as you can tell it got from heavy. what where, we talked about. Where's that better help ad? I'm going to, I'm going to call that number. <laughs> I need somebody to talk to. Exactly. But, okay, well, um, that is it today. That was kind of random, but. It was all randomness. Yeah. But we said how we really feel. American people need vacations. My favorite was uh, wandering around. That was my favorite part of today's show. I've always said it like that, but I never get my words right, as you know. So, anyways, we're going to end on that note. Y'all have a off. wonderful week. Thank you for listening. It's wonderful Down- week. Loading. I'm ignoring you. Thank you for tagging <laughs> friends. And um, yeah, we'll see you next week. Bye. Bye. I also want to know what Jeff's going to do with the pillows. <laughs> oh, yeah. Jordan just skipped right over that. What? Those processing fees, um, and I go, oh, you should see what I'm going to do to those pillows. You weren't even listening. Oh, no. I was going to put a pillow in my butt. <laughs> and right. then, like, if- it's Friday night and they're 20 years old. Okay, sorry. All right. Riley, have a good weekend. Jeff's an asshole. Bye. <laughs> I got a hankering for some hot dogs with that mustard shirt. <laughs>